Hey Warriors fans, I'm Scott Warris, here with yet another Men's Cross Country Conference Athlete of the Week. That's two weeks in a row. Last week it was Zeke Mitchell, this week it's Isaiah Harriet. Congratulations, Isaiah. Native of Nesita, Wisconsin. Before we get into it, what's the best thing about Nesita? For people who have never been to Nesita. Um, I feel like the small town culture, everyone knows everybody, and especially when you do good in athletics, everybody knows. You know, going back home, yeah. like everyone comes up, hey, how did you do at cross country this year? Or just, they're always asking about it. And I think that's the thing that I like about Nasita is like everyone's asking like how I'm doing. Well, next time you're back there, back home, uh, folks will be asking you about what you did last week to get you this Athlete of the Week award at uh, up at Lawrence University, the Gene Davis invite. I'm gonna look down at my notes, make sure I get this right. A time of 25, 27.8. That was a personal best in the 8K. It was also the sixth fastest time in that event in the history of Warriors cross country. Take us through that event last weekend and what went so right for you individually? Uh, so the plan going into the race, starting of the week mm -hmm. was to tempo instead of um, racing, doing a workout instead because we had a very important meet the following week. But as we got closer to the Lawrence meet, we found out that we couldn't get into the Augie meet. So uh, we kind of switched plans. The plan was still the tempo, but do a little bit harder of tempo. But I told my coach going into it the day before, like I felt good on my, my shakeout and I'm like, you know, I'm always gonna try it. You know, it's good conditions. Like the weather's gonna be amazing to PR. So I just gave it a shot and let her roll. At what point over the course of the course, at what point did you think I'm in a good place right now? I really feel like this could be a special day for me. What was there a point along the route as you made it that you realized this things were going your way today? Um, I would say about 5k in, I like came through at like 1558 and I felt really good and I, the goal was to break 26 and at that point I was like, I'm breaking 26 no matter what, so let's just see how far I can go under it. That's just kind of what my mentality was and I, I felt really good all throughout the race. Obviously the last mile hurt, but like I knew I was going to PR by big, mm -hmm. big time. And you did, 25, 27.8, like I say, yeah. under your 26. You mentioned the last, you know, the, the last mile or so, and, and and having to deal with just the pain and, and, and the anxiety and, and whatnot. Where do you go? And I love asking this of cross country runners especially. Where do you go mentally in a race so that you can endure those physical hardships that come and hit that finish line? Where are you up here over the course of the race? Um, well. Sometimes I look at my watch, but like when I'm in a lot of pain going going to finish is like you're really not in that much pain you can think of. Like it's when you're doing it, you know. You're not gonna like die obviously, but like it's really not that painful. It's just like the reason that it's painful is because you don't wanna go any faster, you wanna be comfortable. That's the reason that you're in pain. That's the way I look at it and I'm pretty sure that's how everyone looks at it, but like that's just my mentality towards it. I was talking with uh, your coach, Coach Travis, the other day, and I, I mentioned that we were going to be doing this sit down when you won the award. And I asked, you know, I said, tell me a little bit about Isaiah. And the first word out of his mouth was driven. You're very driven. We were talking about that before we started taping. Where does that come from? Have you always been driven in everything you do in life, or, or how did that characteristic come to be? Um, I would say so, yes. Um, my family, like, is all revolved around sports. So I've always grown up trying to be better than my siblings, and I want no question about it. And kind of going into uh, my college mm -hmm. career was Noah was here, and everyone was calling me Noah's brother. And I was like, okay. We got to towards track season. I got off the conference for the 800 indoor. And I'm like, I went up to Noah and I'm like, people are gonna call you Isaiah's brother instead of Noah's brother. I feel like just like having the sibling rivalry the whole, my whole entire life has made me extremely driven towards like anything in life, like academics, sport, 
boards, even like like yard work we used to like even do like who could break the most leaves, like just like stuff like that. Make everything a competition. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's great. Was there one sibling in particular maybe that you were closest with or that really pushed you the most? You have four, by the way, we should mention, four siblings. Um, <laughs> I would say so. I would say Noah for the first part of my life was for sure because he was always my older brother. Mm -hmm. and that was the only kid that could ever beat me in like anything you know, because we were from a small town. But like as Noah went to college, um, I started getting really close to Jack and I wanted to not like beat Jack all the time, but bring him to my level. Mm -hmm. Like, and I feel like that kind of helped me grow as a person versus Noah kind of helped me grow like as an athlete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, that competitive spirit within the family it makes everybody better, right? I mean, it yeah. brings everybody up. All right, Isaiah Harriet, as competitive as you are, we'll see if you can nail these questions. I have in my hand three note cards. On each note card is a set of questions. You point at the card and I'll ask you those questions. Which one do you want? Uh, the Middle one, okay. The category is sports. How apropos, <laughs> here we go. If you had enough money to buy one professional sports team, which one would you buy and why? Um, I'd probably go with the Brewers. Um, I'm a very hometown person. And also, uh, we used to go to the Brewers games every weekend, basically, when I was little. So I think that would be something that I'd probably do. Summer Olympics or Winter Olympics? Summer. It's coming. What is the best team logo in all of sports? Um, College, pro, if you had to wear one logo, or just something you think is really cool looking. Um, I'd probably say Bucks. Not bad, not bad. How long do you think you could stay atop a rodeo bull? Uh, <laughs> maybe 10 seconds. Okay, I think that'd be pretty good actually. Um, if given the authority, what one rule change would you make in your sport, cross country? Uh, you have carte blanche to change any rule. Um, I don't even know. I, I'm, You're I'm, happy with every single rule in collegiate cross country? Uh, you can tweak anything. I think a little more pushing and shoving. Oh. That's the only thing I think of. You want to, you can let it be a little more physical. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And your wild card question, and we kind of touched on this uh, a little bit earlier. Who inspired you the most to be a competitive runner, family or friend, and why? Because it goes way back. Maybe not. Um, probably my sister Emily. She kind of got me into running because uh, freshman year I was not like the biggest person. I was always a football person mm -hmm. and I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking of just taking off fall sports. Um, but Emily wanted to do cross country. So I'm like, I might as well do it with her. And uh, that's kind of what got me into running. And then I just wanted to be like better comparatively. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of what I thought of. It all comes back to family and what yeah. a family it is. Congratulations, Isaiah, keep it rolling. There he is, Nat cross country. Men's Student Athlete of the Week.